channel. My name's Amber and this is Fabricating Fringe. Today we're going to talk about something that's super, super exciting for John Renault. As many of you guys know, people have been pre-ordering for the new John Renault California Blondes in Human Hair. Um, I talked about this a little bit on my Instagram page, so you'll have to get on over there and check that out but everybody was blown away by the California Blondes in synthetic hair that came out last year. Well, now launching February, coming up here really, really quick, John Renault is coming out with those exact beautiful blondes in human hair. I think people are super excited because the second synthetic came out, they were questioning, is this available in human hair? And now it is. So today I'm going to talk about these various shades in human hair. A lot of this information that I will be talking about is great knowledge for synthetic hair as well because although human and synthetic fibers might vary in color slightly, um, for the most part the color descriptions and the codes will describe to you what that color is and what to expect from it. So today I'm actually going to review the wig that I have on and talk to you about all of the four California blondes. I'm actually wearing the human hair wig from John Renault called Sienna. Now this is a favorite wig of mine. I'm not sure if you guys were aware, but I went to the John Renault Gets Real last year and I tried for the first time this Sienna wig in chocolate cherry and chocolate cherry is definitely a favorite color of mine out of their chocolate collection and i have loved this style of wig sienna is absolutely gorgeous so i'm actually going to show you sienna in my chocolate cherry to give you a glimpse of all the amazing styling that you can do with human hair of course i love synthetic because it's shake and go you're ready to go it's convenient but honestly there is nothing like human hair it feels great it's long lasting you can style it any way you choose and although the investment is a little bit more um, if you take proper care of your human hair it's going to last you a very very long time in fact uh, the hair is going to last so long that many times the cap will start showing signs of wear before the hair itself and that is if you care for it properly with um, great products, such as the ones that are formulated uh, for human hair through John Renault. Those are fantastic for hair care, also giving it deep conditioning treatments because as many of you guys are aware, uh, this human hair is not attached to a head anymore, so it's not receiving those oils and nutrients that um, your bio hair would get that's attached to your scalp. So because it's not, you definitely need to make sure you give your human hair wigs and toppers the TLC that it needs to maintain that beautiful, shiny, healthy look. Before we move on to the colors and the description of the colors and all that nitty gritty, let's talk about the Sienna wig because I love this wig and I have not technically reviewed it yet. I intend to review this beautiful Sienna in Chocolate Cherry, uh, but I have yet to do so. So let's talk about that and um, we'll go over the cap construction and the special features of this gorgeous wig. So this wig is part of their Smart Lace Human Hair Collection. Here's the card, 717 Sienna, the exact color is 12FS12. And that code is actually the gorgeous, beautiful Malibu Blonde. So let's discuss Sienna. Sienna is one of John Renault's exclusive wigs, and this is a beautiful mid-length style made with absolutely gorgeous Remy human hair. I mean, look, it's so soft. It feels wonderful. It's really smooth. Um, it holds up really well too. I've had this Sienna right here since, let's say, oh, almost a year, almost a year, and the hair feels 
fabulous. Really, feels great. Oh, look at that color too. I know we're discussing the blondes, but really, look at that color. So beautiful. Now, even though I have this blonde one on, and that's what we're talking about here, since I have this Sienna right here in front of me, this is what I'm gonna use to show you guys the inside of the cap. So what's wonderful about this Sienna wig is that it has the John Renault Smart Lace technology. It's this just sheer gorgeous Smart Lace front, and that allows for off the face styling. It looks like a realistic hairline. It's, it's really, really pretty. Um, I've been really pleased with this Smart Lace that I've experienced through this past year. And also, this features a monofilament top. And again, that also creates the illusion of a realistic scalp. You can part the hair any which way, and it's going to look very real. Here, I'll show you guys. I mean, just all over, and that scalp is going to look very real. This wig features an open wefted back, and like I stated in other reviews, um, an open wefted back is nice and airy. It has great ventilation. Um, it's going to keep you a lot cooler than some other wig caps, so that's really nice. And then also, sometimes when you have a wefted back that also can make the price point a little bit more obtainable because it's not fully hand tied but you still have the wonderful lace front and mono top which creates you know very realistic movement and all the parting ability and then of course you have your velvet ear tabs and your velvet nape and then you have your adjustable straps so that you can make this wig fit more true to size. I read that this wig was inspired by Sienna Miller. I think she's an actress, so I went and Googled some of her photos and her hair is gorgeous. So I am more than proud and happy to be wearing a wig that was possibly inspired by her hair because it's beautiful. With 100% Remy human hair, you have a lot of advantages. It's longer lasting, it's more resilient, it's stronger, it looks real, it moves more realistic. Um, you're going to be able to style it and wear it the way you want. You can use your heat tools. So there's a lot of advantages to human hair. All right, so this product weight is 5.3 ounces. This is an average size cap and it fits perfectly. It's very, very comfortable. Um, it's, it's a perfect size for me and I'm an average size head. Uh, I like to pull out a little bit of my bio hair if it can match. Um, since this has a little bit of a darker root, it allows me to pull out a little bit of that bio hair right there. And I think that it creates an even more realistic appearance, especially if I was to pull it back, give it some braids, wear it off the face. Of course, that lace front really adds to the realism. But if you do have a little bit of bio hair and it can match that darker root, I really like utilizing the bio hair I have if I'm able in that front perimeter by the ear. I, I don't know, just having a little bit of that out really makes it look even more realistic. So the front of Sienna is eight inches. The crown is 14.5 inches. The sides are 13 inches. And your nape is 10.75 inches. So this is definitely your gorgeous mid-length wig. Um, definitely longer than a long bob and um, not quite your long, long wig, right in the middle, and I love it. This is a fantastic length. It's not too long, it's not too short. You still have the ability to upstyle if you choose. You can do braids, you can do ponytails, all sorts of creative styling with this length. Uh, there's a lot of versatility with this length, and then of course, since you have this gorgeous Remy human hair, you can, the possibilities are really endless 
as far as heat styling and um, you can use rollers. There's a number of different things you can do. Obviously with the human hair, like anybody would, their own human bio hair. So let's talk about the colors. Of course, let's first start with Malibu because that's what I am wearing. I mean, look how beautiful that is. And I actually have a swatch so I can show you even closer what that looks like on the swatch. I mean, it, it looks different because you see all this dark right here and with it not being tied into a wig, um, it has a little bit of a different look. If you can see here, it looks a lot more natural, that rooting in the wig when it's all together than on the swatch, but this really gives you an idea of what to expect. And this color is actually very similar to the popular color Shaded Praline. Shaded Praline isn't a California blonde, but it is so similar to Malibu blonde that I thought it would be wise to show you guys the slight difference in these shades. Malibu blonde is 12 F S 12 and shaded praline is 12 F S 8 and the only difference you have here is the rooting. The color blend in this hair is the same. There were a lot of people that wanted a lighter rooting from this very beautiful popular shaded praline and that's what they did with Malibu Blonde. What you have with your Malibu Blonde is your number 12 which is a warm honey blonde and then you have 24B which is your low light and you have your 102 which is your platinum blonde. And then your rooting is your number 12, which is just slightly lighter than your shaded praline. If you can see that. That's really the only difference between these two colors. Let me show you a close up on the Sienna wig. I think that this color is probably one of my favorites out of the California Blondes. I think it looks so dimensional and beautiful and natural looking. Um, oh, I just, I really, really like it. I had tried the Rachel Synthetic wig in Laguna Blonde and I really, really love that color. But now that I've tried this one, I almost feel like this is more of my cup of tea. I love the dark within it, the, the great mixture of color. Um, it's not as golden and platinum as Laguna. Um, all four of them are so beautiful in their own way, but ooh, I think because I'm so used to brunettes, this one really, really, I don't know, really tickles my fancy. It's just so gorgeous. Here's a close up and the rooting and all those beautiful shades. If you guys are a fan of shaded praline, then you're going to love Malibu Blonde because it has that lighter rooting. A lot of people feel like the lighter rooting is just not as, I don't know if you'd want to call it harsh because shaded praline is so beautiful even with the darker rooting. Um, but it's just a little softer in my opinion. Now let's talk about Laguna Blonde. I really love this color. Look how pretty it is. Now take note, um, your synthetic fiber is going to be a lot cooler in tone than your human hair. So I should have grabbed it, but I have, like I said, Rachel in Laguna Blonde. And it just, it looks very, very similar, but it's not quite as warm as this color swatch. So generally speaking, um, human hair is going to throw off more of a warmer color. So if you are nervous about that, um, John Renault does have their new in-tone product, which is a violet shampoo. And you can use that on your alternative human hair to tone down any brassiness or yellow. Um, it's a wonderful product 
and a little bit goes a long way, just FYI. So you could use that if this was a little bit too warm for you or any blondes for that matter to tone it down and give it more of a, a softer, sometimes even ashy or violety tone to it. And it works so well. So Laguna Blonde has your 12 root, which is the same root as you have on your Malibu. Same color of root, number 12. And then you have your Platinum with a warm honey blonde blend. So that warm, beautiful honey blonde with a mixture of Platinum. So pretty. So let's talk about Venice. Venice Blonde, also known as 22F16S8, is your cool, sandy, beautiful blonde. I mean, they're all beautiful, right? I, I call them all beautiful because they really are. It almost has a creamy beige look to it. Um, oh, I love that. I love that creamy beige platinum blonde blend. Out of the California Blondes, Venice has the darkest root. So, so pretty. I would love to try this shade. Lastly, let's talk about Palm Springs Blonde. That is FS17 101S18. This is your coolest color out of the John Renault California Blondes. This also has your lightest root. This has extra cool and platinum blonde tones. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. So I'm going to go over the codes and the colors one more time. This is Malibu Blonde in Human Hair. The code is 12FS12, and that is also the shade that I'm wearing on my Sienna. Then you have the gorgeous, warm, and beautiful Laguna Blonde, and that code is FS24102S12. Same rooting as your Malibu. Then you have your Venice Blonde, which is 22F16S8, and that has the darkest rooting out of the collection, and that's that beautiful creamy beige blonde. And lastly, you have your Palm Springs, which is FS17 101S18. And this has your lightest root, and this is the coolest color in the collection with your platinum and extra cool tones. Okay, guys, I hope that gave you a closer look of the gorgeous John Renault California Blondes in the Human Hair Collection. And what do you think of this beautiful Sienna wig? I really, really love this wig. In fact, you know what? While I'm here, maybe I'll show you guys uh, the red one so you guys can see the variation of styles that can be achieved on this gorgeous wig. All right, this Sienna has been washed, conditioned, and barrel curled with a medium curling iron. And I love these waves. Really, you can do so much with this gorgeous mid-length style. And I really do love this color too, even though we're not really discussing chocolate cherry today. But maybe in the future, I will do a color comparison between human hair chocolate cherry and the synthetic because really there is kind of a big difference between this gorgeous human hair chocolate cherry and my synthetic chocolate cherry. This is a lot more red, I believe. As far as Sienna goes, she is a favorite and I'm so happy that I have been able to experience this gorgeous wig in this lovely color, Malibu Blonde. What California Blonde is your favorite? Do you like Malibu, Laguna, Venice, or Palm Springs? Comment below. Let me know your favorite. If you're not a blonde, what's the one that you feel like is 
the best? Let me know. Comment below. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful and um, I will let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.